good y'all welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do a get ready with me and kind of just chit chat i really don't have like <laughs> i really don't have a main topic i want to stick to i just kind of felt like talking about the industry period um so i call myself doing my eyebrows y'all mm, i plucked them a little bit so i'm feeling them in there but I really wanted to talk about like one of my missions that I have in my field. And that is not to be like a heavy gatekeeper. If you if you are in my field or I don't even think it's just my field. I just feel like different fields, period, have this problem um, where a person feels like if they spend X amount of dollars, then they should charge a person double or triple that amount um just for them to be successful i feel like we need to break ties with it what y'all think like that that's like truly annoying to me i'm not saying don't have people pay you for your time and your talent because you know although it sounds all peaches and cream we can't just live off of that everybody needs money and i understand that but what i'm saying is why do people be charging like crazy amounts for like little i won't say little shit i don't know but people be charging crazy amounts for stuff that they could just teach somebody at a reasonable price put it this way so if you were struggling and no one would help you with anything you try google you try different things and then you start looking for a mentor they, they have all the keys to this information. They tell you their backstory about how they struggled, how they couldn't pay their loans. They went through school, you know, all this type of shit. And then you like, okay, they, they came from the same place I came from. They understood. So maybe they can, you know, help me or at least guide me to know where I should research. And then they would be like, for the low price of $5,000, we can get you to be a bomb in floors. Like, girl, what? Did you have that five racks when you started? <laughs> that really, really gets on my nerves, y'all. Like, and I've been living on TikTok lately, maybe because I feel like it's like more of a positive vibe compared to um some other social medias. Yeah, they still have comment sections or what have you, but I've learned a lot from there in regards to business, um, uh real tour stuff, all type of stuff. But it's a lot of scammers on there from Forex to how to grow your subscribers. You know, I'll, it just doesn't make any sense to me. And I hate that. And like I said, it's just not my field. It's other fields too. You know what? I, I don't have time to stop and look on Google to look at the population. But I know that shit is well over 5,500 billion you know so what that mean that means it's enough money out here for everybody that crab in a bucket mentality is so ugly to me like again don't shortchange yourself because your time is very valuable and you can't get that back so charge what you need to charge but just don't overcharge you know that's just kind of like see that's what i mean about jumping things that's just kind of like if um say like parents they have their stuff together they've worked they've got x amount of money um and and then they kick their child out at 18 so they can struggle i'm not i'm not here for that i'm really not here for that i'm here for trying to teach him and show him yes but i don't need to teach him by making him go through my same struggle does that make sense like I want to be passive to where he could choose where he want to be. He doesn't have to go to college if he don't want to. He don't have to do the trade. He's going to work. You know, I want to make sure he finds his way around. But I want to make it easier for him than what I'm having to do. Because why continue to do the same struggle if I got the keys to um, somewhat of a success or income going? You feel me? Like, I, I really don't understand um oh just to showcase my makeup right quick so i'm like really into this little heart viral heart thing that people have going on i just think it's so cute because i'm such a mushball um another thing 
everybody does their makeup different so don't come in here like your face shape is a diamond your face shape is that or that you shouldn't have did your i don't care about none of this shit this is my new routine right now i normally don't even go that heavy i just felt like it would be looking it looks good for the picture but anyway back back to what i'm saying um so i really really i know that for sure that's one of my missions but you also have to learn how to decipher a person's personality too you can't just get a keys to everybody or sell them to everybody because everybody doesn't have those type of um, intentions you know some people give you a story and you're like oh my gosh i want to help this person i want to help this person and then they'll turn around and like i said triple the cost to somebody else you know they'll scam you and i've had a couple of instances like that just because i am like an empath and i'm heavy on like love i know that sounds real cliche but i'm real heavy on like that that's 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 just my love language trying to see other people do well and you know be happy that that like i said that's my love language so sometimes it's really hard to take off those goggles from when you're in a business mind frame and when you really want to use your heart because i came in the game like this is what i'm going to do i told god i was going to do this when he bust me with that and i won't say it backfired because i always make up what i thought i've lost in that moment but it is teaching me to kind of be more protective over myself my feelings and how i conduct business or who i want to pour into and you know sadly you have to do that type of shit because people really try to play you people try to play you and it's it's horrible to say that you know you you just can't move how you want to move freely with everybody you know um i'm using this lancome concealer is that lancome no i'm lying that's estee lauder i tried some lancome um and i had to return it back because for whatever reason also it's not on the bandwagon and they still won't like let us test products and i went outside girl i don't know nah, i went to the house and you know you know the you know the deal it had me looking like an oompa loompa so i had to turn return that shit like the next day um so yeah like i said i just kind of wanted to rant about the whole gatekeeping thing um that shit is ignorant but anyway hey excuse the ghetto helicopter that's flying over hey you know with my video right now sitting outside waiting for my son to get done with his football practice but yeah what y'all been up to i asked y'all in the comments the other day would y'all be here for vlogs because i'm about to just start flooding y'all i really feel like youtube want me to win though because they didn't send me <laughs> i don't know if it's win or shade but i'm gonna take it as win they sent me an email like let's turn your views into subscribers here's a couple of few tips because i'm getting the views you know I guess I just can't get y'all to stick around longer. Um, I, I do see people um, voice their opinion stating they wanted me to do more um, services while I'm at the shop. So I'm working on that. I'm working on trying to get some models in um, as far as that just to film content and get that going. Right now, I'm really blending in this Maybelline. I was trying to find these Maybelline sticks for my clients. And when I looked, they said they were um, discontinued. And I didn't understand it because they were super, super creamy. Now, now I don't even want to use mine no more because I'm like, dang, what else can I use that's affordable? Um, super, super creamy and blendable. And I don't know about everybody else, but I take a couple of, couple of minutes to blend all my stuff out. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, it probably look crazy now, but it's gonna get all it's gonna come all together. Y'all know how that shit go. I want y'all to leave down in the comments what field you're in and what do you think 
would have helped you take off quicker than where you are now do you believe in everybody should have somewhat of a quote-unquote struggle or do you think it should be more resources in the communities around us what because like i said you know again the cliche saying a rose will grow from the concrete for sure like i don't want y'all to think that i want everybody to have easy because that wouldn't be realistic in this world but however if it can be done easy easier excuse me why why can't we stop each other from drowning Shit, we be having each other look like uh what's that lady name off titanic she is his name jack having jack cold in the damn water while she just chilling on that look that she knew she could have scooted over and let him float with her that, that's how we be having each other looking when we don't want to you know help others so i've been kind of like i'll still research people as far as like on tiktok on youtube um google and kind of do my own thing i've invested in a couple of things now because i do still believe like i said i believe in investing myself for sure just not crazy crazy you know amounts i, I don't know I, I can't even wear that like i follow this makeup artist from philly her name is sg on the beat bomb y'all need to go look her up on instagram but I follow her and I've bought a couple of her things and it's been well worth it. And she's a pretty popular makeup artist, like I said, in Philly. But then I just bought a $70. Yeah, $70. I just bought a $70 um, makeup course. I can't even remember the artist's names, but he didn't take his time. He just kind of flew through it. You know, you could tell he sped sped it up. And um it's only rewashable for like 60 or 90 days. I feel like if I paid the 70, it should have been mine. You know, that that sounds weird to me. Like I said, I'll be hating on people's uh hustle, but let's make it make sense. I I I was like, dang! I thought I was doing something like, girl, go ahead and throw this little seventy dollars in here because his makeup be flawless. He does a lot of celebrity makeup, and I was like, you know, I could really probably use some tips from him, but uh, it's not giving what it needed to give, you know. Um, so really, I've been looking at other people on YouTube, like Painted by Spencer. He is bomb. And he really goes step by step. He lists all his products. Bomb. So that's what I've been working on, you guys. Trying to build this platform here. And really, like I said, go wholeheartedly with this influencer slash model title. I've always wanted to be a model since I was younger. And I just feel like it was the you know wrong timing in my life. I had my son young. And... I don't really get to go full force, but now for today, with the power of the internet, you literally can do whatever the hell you want to do. Like I said, you just got to put in that work and be consistent. One of the big major things is, though, is figuring out these damn algorithms. Like, when you need to pose, what hashtags to use. I think that's the biggest thing. But do it. Okay. Like I said, do that shit. Here, I'm just blending everything out and I probably throw on some little background music so y'all can see me finish my makeup. I didn't get a good video at the end because my camera wouldn't adjust. Maybe because I was sitting by my balcony and the sun was so bright. But yeah. Y'all see that at the end though. Make sure you guys like. Please subscribe to your girl. Please. You know, if you just tell, if it's just you in your whole circle, be like, yeah, y'all know I am Janae. Yeah, let's go ahead and subscribe to her stuff. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Get your girl there. Hit the notification bell. Thank you for all my new subscribers. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video.